Would you believe me if I told you that I was stuck in a cycle of addiction, turning to certain websites for temporary relief? I did it two or three times every day because honestly, I hated my life. That site was the only place where I found a fleeting sense of happiness. It was the one thing I looked forward to daily. It became my escape, my habit. But here's the thing. I didn't even feel bad about it. I convinced myself I needed it. It became part of who I was, and it dragged me into a dark place. I lost myself in it, and I stopped interacting with people normally. Don't even get me started on how I viewed women. They weren't people to me anymore. They became objects in my mind, fantasies I created and replayed over and over. This addiction took years of my life. Years. And the moment I realized how much it had consumed me was when I finally had an intimate moment with a real woman and I couldn't perform. There was no spark, no life. That's when I saw the damage I had done to myself. I hated the person I had become, and that's when I knew I had to change. My relationships with everyone, family, friends, and especially women, had been destroyed by this addiction. The sad truth is that it took my life falling apart for me to change. But I don't want you to go through that same pain. That's why I'm making this message. To help you before it gets that far. You don't need to hit rock bottom to make a change. The first step to breaking this cycle is finding your purpose. Without a goal, something to chase after, lust will fill that void. Women, pornography, they'll become the only things you focus on. That's what happened to me. I didn't have a purpose. I didn't care about my future and I didn't strive for anything meaningful. So how do you find your purpose? You have to find your passion. It's something that excites you, something you can work on every hour of the day, something you're just a little better at than most people. To discover this, you need to cut out all the distractions, sit with yourself and have an honest conversation. Ask yourself, what do I love? What do I want to do for the rest of my life? What's gonna bring me fulfillment and joy? When you find that purpose, everything changes. Lust, pornography, and even your obsession with women will fade. Because you'll realize those things are distractions from what really matters. Your passion, your goal, that's what will give you real happiness and fulfillment. And remember, I'm not telling you to cut women out of your life or to view them negatively. I'm telling you to stop chasing them. When you chase after women, you put them on a pedestal and that's when lust takes over. Another key step to overcoming this addiction is cold approaching women. I know that sounds terrifying at first, but it's essential to regain a healthy view of women as people. You need to be able to walk up to a woman, talk to her, and hold a normal conversation without feeling intimidated or overwhelmed. This will humanize women again for you. You'll start to see them as individuals, not objects. Confidence comes from being brave, even when you're scared. The first time you approach someone is the hardest, but it gets easier. You don't need to say anything elaborate. Just a simple, excuse me. I don't mean to bother you, but I had to tell you how beautiful you look today. My name's your name. What's yours is enough to break the ice. It's not as difficult as it seems, and it'll help you shift your mindset. It's harder than ever to win right now. Why? Because every day you're frying your brain, killing your attention span, focus, testosterone, and ultimately your success. The average attention span is now worse than a goldfish's, and that's your competition. The good news? With just a tiny bit of discipline and work ethic, you're already ahead of most people. Success starts with controlling your urges. If you can't control yourself, you won't succeed. It's that simple. Mastering your urges, especially those related to sexual impulses, is crucial. Desexualizing your brain starts with quitting harmful habits that degrade your mental clarity and productivity. Step one, stop watching corn. It sounds obvious, but most people can't quit. Corn fries your brain, diminishing your focus and impulse control. It erodes the prefrontal cortex, 
the area of your brain responsible for willpower. This is the same area that helps you achieve success in life. Porn use is linked to anxiety, depression, and even issues in relationships like erectile dysfunction. Many men today struggle with sexual dysfunction because they've rewired their brains to respond to virtual stimulation rather than uh, real life intimacy. Step two, stop pleasuring yourself. Every time you give in to this urge, you're tricking your brain into thinking you've achieved a major goal, reproduction. This gives you a dopamine rush without any real accomplishment, making everything else seem less important. It's why people find it harder to focus and do hard things afterward. Dopamine levels spike by 250% from porn and masturbation, similar to drugs. When the dopamine crashes afterward, you're left feeling drained. To regain control, you need to break this cycle. Step three, find purpose. Addictions often stem from a lack of meaning, not from libido or trauma. Without a purpose, people turn to easy dopamine fixes. Having a clear goal or North Star in life, whether it's starting a business or providing for loved ones, helps keep you on track. It gives you something greater than your urges to work toward. Step four, eliminate soft porn, soft corn. Social media posts, suggestive ads, is everywhere. Unfollow Instagram models, stop scrolling TikTok for half-naked dances, and block these triggers. Triggers often lead back to the bigger problem, and avoiding them is key to keeping yourself in control. If you're not where you want to be in life, you shouldn't be wasting time on things that don't serve your progress. Step five, look inward, not outward. Learn delayed gratification. Most people look to external sources for dopamine, like food or entertainment. You need to learn to find peace in stillness. Dopamine detoxes, where you cut out stimuli for 24, 72 hours, help rewire your brain. The goal is to become fulfilled by your work, not cheap dopamine. Step six, stop chasing women constantly. Chasing women distracts you from your goals. Women date up in the social hierarchy, so focus on building yourself first. The better you become, the better your options will be later. Instead of spending time and energy on relationships early in your journey, focus on becoming the best version of yourself. So, my brother, if you follow these steps, finding your purpose, and learning to approach women with respect and confidence, you can break free from your addiction. I believe in you. And I know you can do this.